It's bad enough, and they want to make it a lot worse for you. Frankly, you can feel, I think, momentum building for Republicans. 80% of Democrats and Republicans apparently have that feeling. Our team of journalists covering every single angle. You're a fair man. That's why I'm doing this program. It's always going to be a balance. Tonight, we got your back. How do we figure out the truth, Congressman? Staying on top of this very important issue. What am I missing here? I think if they win, I should get all the credit. If they lose, I should not be blamed at all. Stay cool. Get your groove on and let it go. Ah! World's Funniest Animals. New episode tonight at 9 on KTLA 5, The CW. Good morning, I'm Carlos Herrera. A late night house party in Anaheim ends with gunfire. An 18 year old man shot by a police officer. What led up to that shooting next? And we're learning new details about the man investigators say deliberately. Saturday morning, most of us should be dry today, but it'll be a different story for your Sunday. We'll talk about all of that and the week ahead coming up. Good morning and welcome to the KTLA Weekend Morning News at 6 a.m. I'm Lauren. Miskirk. And I'm Doug Cole. And we begin with breaking news now out of South L.A. That That's is where police are investigating a deadly crash involving a pedestrian. We're told the victim was struck while crossing the street near the intersection of Hoover and 49th Place around 6.30 last night. Firefighters rushed to the scene and attempted life-saving measures, but the pedestrian was declared dead shortly thereafter. It appears the driver is cooperating with police. No word yet if drugs or alcohol were a factor. More breaking news right now from Orange County. Police have opened fire on a suspect at a large party. They were initially called to the house for reports of a shooting. KTLA's Carlos Herrera is live in Anaheim with what we know so far. Carlos, good morning. And good morning to both of you. We've now learned the 18 year old man was shot by a police officer. He remains hospitalized this morning and is now cooperating with the investigation. He is now being called a suspect at this point. But take a look at the very active crime scene here this morning. A lot of police officers here with the Anaheim Police Department. We are on Ball Road and Cheryl Street here in Anaheim. Officers actually just extended this crime scene just a few moments ago because uh, they found more evidence that will help them in this investigation. They're focusing in uh, on this home where this large late night house party was happening. Investigators this morning say essentially that house is what led up to this shooting. Police department, your party is over. Leave the backyard now. That dramatic video from the scene, a gun on the floor and a large group of alleged party goers obeying police commands with their hands up in the air. Anaheim police say it all started around 1030 last night. Officers were responding to a call of shots fired at a large house party in the 900 block of South Cheryl Street near Ball Road. As officers arrived, authorities say a confrontation happened between an officer and an 18 year old man. The suspect was struck at least once by police gunfire. He was initially treated at the scene before taken to the hospital where he remains in stable condition. This morning, Anaheim Police uh, and the Orange County Sheriff's Department are still looking into the original call for service, trying to determine if there was indeed a shooting at the party and if the wounded suspect was involved in it. We're still looking for victims that may have been involved in that original shooting that was reported uh, at that large house party. So we've got a lot of work on our hand. We've been uh, assisted by the Orange County Sheriff's Department uh, because we do have so many people here that we're working through. Investigators recovered a gun at the scene. They believe it belongs to the suspect. The Anaheim police officer that shot that suspect was not hurt. It's still unknown what exactly caused the officer to open fire or how many times that suspect was shot. The Orange County District Attorney's Office now handling that part of the investigation. But back out here live, Anaheim Police Department knows that there were a lot of people that attended that party last night. There were several witnesses. If you were a one of them, you're urged to please contact the Anaheim Police Department with any information. We're live in Anaheim this morning. I'm Carlos Herrera, KTLI 5 News. I'll send it back to you. Carlos, thank you. L.A. County Sheriff investigators now releasing the name of the man they say deliberately ran down a beloved Mount Santonio College employee with his car, killing him. 